Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Imagine leaving a life after 30 years of marriage and you say to yourself, this marriage is over. Ladies and gentlemen, this is another video for you. I want you to take a good look at this young lady who after 30 years of marriage, she initiated a divorce because she wanted to be free and live a lifestyle of freedom and liberty. Wow, the feminist ideology has entered into her head, especially modern feminism, causing her to lose that which is perfect in her life. Perfection doesn't mean everything is smooth sailing. Perfection basically means everything is right, even if you feel wrongly about it, but it feels absolutely right. So watch this video and then we'll talk about it at the end. Thank you. Good morning. Do you want to become a miserable old woman? I don't think any of us do, but women, you know, you've seen those women out there. The women that are nattering and nagging their husbands that are bitchy, that aren't nice, that are seem to be so unhappy. And we think, oh God, I hope I'm never one of those miserable old women. And you know how that happens? That happens from raising a family, working, and then all of a sudden we're in our 50s and 60s and we have nothing. We don't have a life. We don't have a life separate from our family or separate from our husband. And so we resent everybody. So you know what you need to do? You need to get your own life. You need to cleave away from your husband, cleave away from your children. You're not just the grandma. You're not just the wife. You may have a marriage that's good, but you're still unhappy and you're still miserable. And you may not want a divorce and you shouldn't have to. You should be able to find something that fills you up that you can do to make you feel like you've lived your life. Our lives are short. There's not a lot of time left. What if next year, what if this is the last year of your life? Would you still live it the same way you're living it now? I don't think so. So let's think about that. Let's find a way to do it so that we can live every day and enjoy it and enjoy our marriages if we have good ones and be separate people from our husbands and from our children. Women need to get unstuck. They need to find a path and see what's out there for them. There's so much, there's so much more out there for us. It doesn't end when the kids move away. Anyway, I hope that helps. Well, I did it. Here I am on my new bed, my princess bed. And um, it rained all day yesterday when I moved. Um, but today I woke up and you know what? I felt free. I felt so excited for the first time in years, just like a weight had been lifted off me. And um, I feel amazing. I'm so excited. My place is a mess. I haven't unpacked everything because of course, you can't and it's so small there's nowhere like I have to organize like crazy but I feel really grateful so it's been a couple of weeks I've been moving and moving and moving and now I'm finally all settled in to my new apartment I'll do a little tour tomorrow but um, it's just a short hello and my very handsome boyfriend is making me dinner one eternity later so um, the last few days have been super traumatizing for me uh, my own fault um, uh, it's always my fault. But anyway, uh, I didn't know. Well, I guess I, I did know, but um, that I would have this really strong reaction physically, trauma reaction to finding out that my estranged husband has been having a new relationship. Now, I'm not saying that he shouldn't. Um, we've been separated for a year, but we see each other a lot and we spend time as a family together a lot. And I had asked him many times, are you seeing somebody? And he said, no, no, no. He kept saying no. And um, then he'd take me to dinner and we'd have a nice chat. And I have a boyfriend that I've been seeing. Um, so it's not like I, I think he shouldn't. Don't get me wrong. This isn't about that. But what happened was because he didn't tell me, um, I felt safe around him still, like in the way that he still loved me. So he invited me to go on a trip with him and the girls. And I said yes. Um, he bought this big boat for his business. And uh, so we went and got on this boat. But I said yes, because I didn't want, you know, you have this feeling when you first get separated that um, you can't imagine your husband and your children having a great time without you or with a new woman. And I was like, okay, um, I don't know whether I should go or not. Like, I don't want him to think something. And I don't, but then my daughter said, well, he's not going to ask you again. So you should come. I don't know why she said that, but I do now. So I went. And then when I was there, I found out, because um, he kept texting and texting. And I just was like, what's going on? And anyway, I found out through some very horrific texts, my fault, 
that not only was he having a relationship, but they're totally involved in saying, I love you and blah, blah, blah. And I had this physical trauma. Like, um, I went off the fucking rails. It was terrible. Good morning. Do you want to become a miserable old woman? I don't think any of us do. But women, you know, you've seen those women out there. The women that are nattering and nagging their husbands, that are bitchy, that aren't nice, that are, seem to be so unhappy. And we think, oh, God, I hope I'm never one of those miserable old women. And you know how that happens? That happens from raising a family, working, and then all of a sudden we're in our 50s and 60s and we have nothing. We don't have a life. We don't have a life separate from our family or separate from our husband. And so we resent everybody. So you know what you need to do? You need to get your own life. You need to cleave away from your husband, cleave away from your children. You're not just the grandma. You're not just the wife. You may have a marriage that's good, but you're still unhappy and you're still miserable. And you may not want a divorce and you shouldn't have to. You should be able to. Hi. Hey. I don't know. Things aren't going that great. I just keep thinking about what it used to be like when things were good. And maybe all of this was my fault. Maybe I'm a selfish, narcissistic. Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm the one. You're goddamn right. I don't know, but I'm kind of struggling. All that fake, all that happy. Oh, I'm doing so great. I think I was in shock. And now it's coming like into reality and... I don't know. I know this is just a separation and there are a lot of worse things in the world than this. I just, I just don't know what my life's gonna be like. I can't seem to remember anything bad. I just remember all the good things. Hey, um, this really lovely woman, I cut her hair and do her highlights and I do her kid's hair and um, her husband. And they invited me to dinner tonight. It's Saturday night. And I was getting ready to go. And I bought the kids some um, little gifts. And I just thought, I'm going to go and have dinner with these people and their children. Instead of being at home with my own. And I wonder what I'm doing. It's really not, I don't know what to do. I don't know why I feel like this. I miss my family. I miss being a family. Maybe it's worth just staying miserable if you get your family. Because without them, I don't know who I am anymore. So, I'm not drinking. It's not, I'm not crying because I'm drinking. I'm crying because... It's so hard. It's really hard. Anyway, I hope you're having a happy Saturday. I'm sure I'll be fine later. I just, uh, it just hit me. Like, all of everything I've ever known is gone. My family isn't here anymore. I mean, they're here, but we're not together. And I'm going to go sit with some other family. I mean... It's nice that they invited me, but it's not easy. Good morning. Sometimes I just wonder, like, what, what am I doing? Like, what have I chosen? Why did I do this? I had a dream last night that my estranged husband came to me and said, I've hurt my hand so badly. And um, he was crying and he said he needed my help. And I said, well, how about I just move in and take care of you? And it was like, he was the way he used to be. And it was like, we were starting over. And um, it was an upsetting dream. And, uh, you know, I don't even, I, it's not possible. It's just the way the dream came out. I guess I was just, my body is like telling me that I love him. I always will, um, but you know, things are different. And then I think, and then I get angry sometimes and I'm like, why doesn't he believe that I should have alimony or, you know, he wants to give me some money, but it's not, I need to have a monthly payment. And all the things we ever had were 
partly because of me, because my parents lent us money and, you know, I was really good at helping him. And um, I was smart. He didn't have a dumb wife. He had a smart wife that helped him and encouraged him and stood by him. Um, even when um, something bad happened and I did something bad, I was punished for until now when I left. But everything he did, it was okay. But everything that I did, like, I was to be blamed. Everything has been my fault. And um, it's like, is this how you spend the rest of your life? Like, at my age? He has more money than me. I live in a shitty apartment. I'm, like, struggling trying to find a place to live. And um, people, men, think that the women don't deserve anything, that they're freeloading, that they're asking for free money, that they got all they deserved. They should get the hell out and find their own way after 30 years of taking care of somebody. And, yes, he took care of me, too, in many ways, but failed in some ways because here we are. And... um but I'm the one that's valueless. It's the wife. There's something wrong. Most women do not take the time to methodically and logically process how valuable their marriage is and how valuable they are in their marriage, irrespective of their looks or their age. You have a marriage, your husband loves you. He may not express it most of the time. Your children love you. Sometimes they may not show it. Because one goon out there has shown you a simple snatch of appreciation or likeness. You take it as a whole world and you want to destroy that which was built over 30 years for a glimpse of what's out there. No wonder most of these women run back to their husbands. But knowing the husband, you divorced me, I know you don't like me, you don't need me, basically. He finds someone who likes him, loves him, appreciates him, respects him, honors him. But for you, you saw the streets are somewhere that you ought to be in. And when you see the reality in the streets, you want to run back to that man who gave up all for you, made the sacrifice for you, gave you children, gave you a household, gave you all the necessities of life. But because of your arrogance, your self-inflicted inflicted pains because of your feelings, made an irrational decision to end your relationship with that man. And here you are, begging to go back, regretting your decisions. Well, you made your bed, you lie in it. That's all, folks. Thanks for watching this video. Just remember to like, share, subscribe to this channel, and hit the notification bell for more videos. Thank you and have a good day. Bye.